I saw a question pop up on my Facebook feed. It wasn't it wasn't a question to me. I think it was a question to one of the in one of the um, in one of the narcissism Facebook uh, groups. And it was a good question, and it's something that pertains to a lot of us. And the question itself, you know, leads to so many different issues in our abuse, in our recovery, and how it and how it affects us. And really, what the gist of the question is: What do you do when you look like your abuser? It was asked much longer than that, but that, that's the gist. What do you do when you look like your abuser? It's something a lot of us deal with. I, I deal with it. My wife deals with it. I look exactly like my mother. She looks exactly like her mother. And this is one of those things that it's almost a rabbit hole on its own. Because when you look like your abuser, there is so much that's going on under the surface. A, well, A, now, every time you look in the mirror, the first thing you see is your abuser's face looking back at you. That's just a fact. So... Right there, when somebody's telling you, well, why can't you get over it? Why can't you get past it? Why are you so angry? Well, geez, every time I look in the mirror, I see my abuser standing back, staring back at me, and then I have to come to the realization, oh, no, that's my reflection. And then you got to go through a whole progression again, how you're not like your abuser. These are things that we deal with as abuse survivors, things that we could never label in the past that now we are now gaining understanding about. And this is what I'm saying, where in my last video and two videos ago, I'm, I'm talking about giving yourself time, even if that time takes the rest of your life. Because look at the depths of what you have to analyze. Now, let's take this as the issue of looking like your abuser. I look exactly like my mother. So, and my mother looks exactly like her father, and I am actually the spitting image of her father, who I never met. He died when I was 11 months old. It's a little bit different for me looking like my mother because the opposite sex thing. And even though I had the whole, the entire sexual abuse dynamic, the your mother wants to sleep with you dynamic, um, my mother almost tried to tried to raise me almost like she would a daughter, but it didn't work because I was still a male and I was still very aggressively male. So what I didn't have, though I had the abuse, what I didn't have is that competition that women get with a woman abuser, especially if that abuses their mother. Where my wife, when she looks in the mirror, she sees her mother. And then she sees her mother telling her that her mother had a better body, had a better ass, had a better this, had a better that. Something that so many of you women deal with with your own mothers is that is that competition so when you're looking in the mirror and you see your abuser's face you're right there having that 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 competition internally with your abuser my issues and we a lot a lot of us have problems with how we look and we thought we were trolls or whatever what helped me was you know when i was a kid i thought i was a troll i thought you know well, that's what i was told i was ugly 
you know, it was hideous. I mean, that's just what I thought. I hated the. I, I didn't even look at my own reflection for years. For years. I was fortunate enough when I matured, things turned around. And I gained confidence in, you know, when I was dating. You know, I, I, I've mentioned before, like, dating has never really been an issue with me, so I almost got narcissistic supply out of it. You know, I I had talked like some of my relationships in the past where, you know, I'd have a lot of women that would fall for me, you know, every time like that. And then that was it. And then the next thing you know, they're they're, they're crying on the on, on the lawn. And that helped me in my confidence, but it was still detrimental. Because obviously the girls that were doing that, you know, we follow a cycle of narcissism where we're attracting the same type of people. So as I think back to a lot of these girls and women, they were all abuse, they were all abuse victims. They were all abuse victims. So it wasn't even necessarily where, you know, I'm this God or back then that's, that's what you're thinking. Like, Jesus Christ, what's going on? And even to this day, it still happens. But that's because I think I was being lazy. That's like low hanging fruit because that's what's easy and coming, coming at me. I never really tried to work for anybody in my life. So that's where, in my case, I'm different than I don't understand necessarily. So look, when I look in the mirror, I don't see, even though I know I look like my mother, it doesn't bother me. Like, I don't get that resentment when I, when I look in the mirror. I understand it, and I can understand how, for most abuse survivors who are trying to make sense of it, and recover how that would be such an easy trigger when you're standing there and you're looking at especially when it's same sex if it had been if i had looked like my father i think it would be different for what my father did to me because my father was more mental and just i mean they were both equally awful but the fact that with my father, my father was, it was drawn out of, my father's narcissism towards me and his hatred towards me is born out of pure jealousy and competition. Exactly what most narcissistic mothers do to their daughters. Now, if you look like your narcissistic mother, that's what's going when, and then you look in the mirror and you're seeing your narcissistic mother and it's based in that competition where you're competing with the, your own reflection because your own reflection looks like your abuser. I'm lucky enough I didn't have that because my mother's abuse was irrational based because it was just crazy. And it wasn't competitive. It was sexually based and more of she wasn't competing with me. She was competing with whatever women I was bringing around. So it was a different type of competition. Whereas if it would have been my father, and if I had looked, if I had looked like my father, and I had to see my father's face every time, let me tell you something. If I had to see my father's face every time I looked in the mirror, I'd rip every fucking mirror out of my place. I'd never look in the goddamn mirror again, because it's that mental competition to destroy you. Is why it's so hard. When you consider what the person you look like was your abuser because that was a competitive narcissism to take you down and prop them up and now you got to look in the mirror and see that and have that competition in your own head with yourself that's devastating that's devastating and you're supposed to recover and this is what people don't understand you know unless you sit down and think this out and lay it out this is 
this is high engineering here where you know you're building substructures just to hold up the massive weight of bullshit that's coming down on you there are so much architecture in this narcissism recovery that needs to be built underneath first that people aren't going to understand and don't see because it's supporting all this other bullshit that nobody understands and nobody understands what that people don't understand what's that what that must be like to look at your own reflection and be in competition with it because you see your abuser it was an excellent point and it's something that should really be talked about more um, in the narcissism community and really it's like I said it's not something I, I understand it but I don't feel it the way other people do you know I've had my issues with my reflection in the, in the mirror and listen it is still unhealthy you know it's just the fact that I don't fight with my own reflection is different but my whole imp self image was was negative for years and even though it went positive it really wasn't positive because it was drawing in the exact type of abuse victims to keep me in the cycle of of abuse and now the fact that my wife loves me more than anything in this world and she comes from an abuse background it's an anomaly that it works with us but it only works because we both are digging in on this and we both want answers and we both we support each other so on that end you know I, I I've been fortunate I, I, I lucked out with her she puts up with a lot of bullshit from me and on paper our relationship should be just as dysfunctional as every other relationship I've ever had and it's just not because we communicate and we understand this and we're trying to get to the bottom of it so those are my thoughts on when you look like your abuser um, but keep that in mind for you to remind yourself when people are riding you what is your problem why can't you get over anything how am I supposed to get over something when I look in the mirror and I see my competition looking back at me give yourself give yourselves a break everybody you know at this point in your life people are going to understand you or you're not you need to be comfortable with who you are and that's it and anybody else and anybody who can't accept you for how you are they're not worth having in your life anyway all right everybody thanks for watching and I will see you all again real soon take care bye